I've been wanting to come up with a solution for the TV in there. When you open up that door in the daytime, there's too much glare and you can't see the TV. And I originally thought of where my slide outs are is to use that track and put a awning over, but that was kind of high and plus a slide out took that space. So I found this uh, small 8x8 canopy on sale at the local home center for $45. Most of the 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 canopies, although they would work, simply are just too heavy, too big, too bulky to carry around. And we actually have a 10 by 10, but the legs are not straight. And I want straight legs so I can bring it up against the sidewall here. And it comes with a nice little case. And this weighs about 20 pounds. The other ones, the traditional canopies, are 35 pounds or so, so this is almost half the weight. And this is kind of what I had in mind. However, if you look at it, this corner goes up, this corner goes down, that corner goes down, that corner goes up, so it kind of makes a crown. I think I may swap the hardware from this corner and that corner to make the whole thing more of a lean-to. So I ended up actually reversing one side and you can see now we have a lean-to and so it actually works a lot better uh, as lean-to than it did before and if I have to I can always put some kind of like a stick through there to help hold it up from the rain and as part of the modification of the awning I 3D printed these little parts that are going to become part of the center support structure well then I assembled the tent and again remember I modified it so the high end is both on both sides and these are just Coleman replacement tent stakes that fit into the four corner pieces that I made with 3D printer plus the centerpiece and I had to cut these down a little bit and one issue is that the tent is not exactly square so two legs are longer than the other so I compensated that by taking one of the cutoffs cutting it short and putting it on there but you see up in the center I mean this is pretty strong and again I'll have the printouts for these 3d pieces on my website and of course the main purpose is to raise the center up a little bit so that if it rains it's not going to puddle in the center and you can see the spider that holds the whole center up a little bit <laughs> 